Okay. Um, this is a video about how to create a ground plane using three-point perspective. So the first thing you have to establish is your horizon line. Um, what I should have done is I'm going to rip a sheet of paper here and I'm going to extend my horizon line past my paper. Um, I'm doing this for a reason, which I'll explain in a second. So the horizon line is going to go a little bit outside of the border. On that horizon line, I'm going to put some vanishing points. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there. This is the left vanishing point, And this is the right vanishing point. Above here, which you can't see in the video, I'm going to put a dot at the very top of the page. It's just one dot right up there. The other dot I'm going to put down here at the bottom, somewhere between these two, central, lo centrally located. After I do that, I'm going to connect this left vanishing point with the bottom point, the right vanishing point with the bottom point, and then I'm also going to connect, which I can't really reach, but I will do my best to reach it. I'm going to connect the um, these two points, the top and the bottom point. Okay, so about a third of the way up distance between here and the bottom of the paper, I'm just going to guess I don't know, right here appears fine to me. It's about a third of the way up, maybe a little more than a third of the way up. If I were to count one, two, three, it doesn't count three, it's a little bit more. That's fine, right there. The reason I'm putting this first dot here because these dots are gonna get smaller as they go in space and it's gonna be more difficult to add spaces here when everything kind of condenses. You'll understand that in a moment. Okay, after I made that mark here, I'm going to connect that mark to the left vanishing point. I'm going to connect it to the right va vanishing point. Now, in some cases, a case like this, it helps if you have a, a longer ruler, like so. So you can complete that full line. Okay, now, if you look at this shape right here, I'm just gonna draw a quick shape right here. It, it appears to look like a diamond, something like this, um, right? There's a line that divides it already from this corner to this corner, like so. So that already exists. The next line, you're gonna go from this corner to this corner. So I'm gonna get my ruler, and I'm gonna connect it from corner to corner. What that does, it finds my center point of that shape. So whenever you cross the corners of a rectangle or a square or anything, you can cross the corners and it immediately finds the center. Which is nice because you can take that point and connect it now to the right vanishing point. This is how you get this set up. It can be somewhat confusing. Um, however, there's three main steps to it and each uh, once you repeat the three steps, it becomes easier to understand. The next thing you're going to do, so I've set everything up. I have this little shape here. I divided it in half. I found my halfway point. I connected that to the right vanishing point. Now, I'm going to show you the next step, um, which is step one, step two, step three. And I'm going to walk you through it, and then I'll repeat again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the back corner of this shape, which basically, if it, this is a similar shape to that. So I'm looking for this back left corner. And I'm also looking for that line I just drew in, which is right here, and it intersects the top part of the shape, which is something like right here. And I'm going to go through those two points with the ruler, with a straight edge of some sort, and I follow those two points I just made, and I continue the line, and when the line intersects this line right here, that tells me where the next line comes in. Let's get my longer ruler here. And I can connect that to the left vanishing point. 
cool thing about that is when it when that line intersects this line right here I connect that to the right vanishing point so that is first step is oops should have taped these down thought of this before the video um, the first step is when I um, went from this point through this point and I drew a line and I found that point step one step two is connecting that line that point with the left vanishing point and it create, creates this line, which also finds this point and that's the third step. I connect, I uh, draw this line through here, through that point and continue on. So we're gonna do that again, but we have to move up one shape. So if you look at this, this might look like it's divided into two squares, but it is one square because that one line we drew in there uh, previously was just a line that divided that in half. I'm gonna take that line out erase it later on. For now, it stays so I can figure out how this works out. So what I do next is I go, to, I move up one shape, one square or rectangle. I go from this back corner where this line that I drew before intersects the other side of this now, which is right here. I take my ruler, I go through and it intersects this line right here. So again, that's step one. Step two, oh, shucks. Um, step two, I take my left ruler and I connect to the left vanishing point and I connect it to that point I just made. Put a line. Step three, where that line I just made intersects this line, I put a dot. I take my um, right vanishing point and I go through. Oh, this is tricky. Sorry, I'm just lining this up and it keeps sliding on me and I am lacking tape down here in my video room. And I draw that line in. You can start to see how this is working out. It's becoming a ground plane, but this is the largest. It gets a little smaller, a little smaller, and it's, these little dots are gonna increasingly get more condensed um, as I go north. Um, so once again, this is the tricky part. It's where everybody gets con confused. What do I do next? You're gonna move up, so we started here, and we were just finished this stage. Now we're gonna go right in here. So this is the bottom left-hand corner of that whole square. It's more rectangular-like right now. And this is the center uh, point where this line intersects it at the very end. So I take those two points, and then I connect a line through, like so, where it intersects here. I take my large ruler, connect it to the left vanishing point, strike a line through where it intersects this line in the center. I get my large ruler connected to the right vanishing point and I strike another line through there. And I just repeat this over and over again. I'll do one more quick one. So the next, now I went from here to here to here. The next one I go from this corner through the line that goes through the center. And as you can tell, this line that I'm drawing starts to kind of bend a little bit. Um, here, it's it's starting to change its direction slightly, not much, but slightly. And then it intersects this line right here. I take my left vanishing point and I go here. And then, it, and then this is the uh, intersecting part, I take my right vanishing point and I go there. One more time and then I'll show you the next step because I can take this as far as I can until I can't really see what I'm doing because these little shapes are going to get so small that it's going to be hard for you to do what you could easily do down here. And at that point, Everything's moving on me. At that point, I'll show you a quick trick to kind of um, make the illusion that all of this goes back in space without continuing this on forever and ever and ever and ever. So I could probably go a few more steps. I could probably get up to here. At some point, you're gonna go to the horizon line and you're gonna hold it to the left vanishing point, you're going to angle it down just a hair, 
you're gonna put a line in. You're gonna angle it down just a hair and put a line in. You're gonna angle it down just a hair and put a line in. And then you're gonna try to fade this into whatever you're doing here because um, it's gonna be so small that it'll be tricky for you to, just like so. And then you take this side and you do the same thing. Now, you wanna do this process as far as you possibly can before you do that. Do not do that from the beginning. And then you go on the right vanishing point and you do the same thing. You just kind of angle it down, angle it down, angle it down, and so forth. You kind of see uh, once you get to about here, it will kind of blend its way in. So this goes back in space. One more thing you need to know is you have to put another line probably like right here or something like that, or another line right here. How do you do that? Because this helps you go in that direction, but how do you come forward? take the same concept. So remember we um, used uh, this big square here and we divided it in half and found the same thing. I can erase that now. I don't need that line, that line does not exist. So I'm gonna erase that all the way up. You can you can even erase these guys because it, it, you don't need that information. So it looks like this, right? So what I can do now, I'm going to, I could probably use this as, as a point, go through here and, and wait till it, in, it intersects something, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna break this up in half. I'll show you how to do that real quickly. Cross your corners, find your center, take the center, connect it to the, it keeps moving on me. Connect it to the right vanishing point. You connected to the left vanishing point too. It could go in this way. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, go from this corner through the center, which is the center is right here. And I'm going to hope that that line meets up with something, which it doesn't. Hmm. Maybe I can take that. Oh, this works out. Oh, all right. So I'm going to take this back corner and I'm going to line it through that center point and then see if that line meets up with something here, which it does. And then that is where the next um, line would come in, which is almost off the page. It's pretty big. So it's gonna be something along the lines of this, done. Um, I thought it was gonna be about here, but I guess not. That looks a little weird. I don't know about that. So if you wanted to go on this side, you could cross your corners here cross your corners here, find your center, take the center to the left vanishing point. Um, go from the center here to the back line, which is right here, the back corner. Looks like it intersects it right here. You take this guy and then hit it to the right vanishing point. This dot that I made, hit it to the right vanishing point. There you go. So you can kind of see it. I, I finished these lines there. That's where they exist. I'm not too certain about that one, but it suffices for the moment. So there's your ground plane. I'm also gonna make another video on how to create the ground plane in a different method, which is a little easier, um, but that's it for now. Thank you.